We are just in front of Bharat Mandapam, which is going to see a lot of action with uh, the top leaders of the world coming here in the coming days. And we have with us MOS External Affairs, Minakshi Lekhi. How are you prepared? And uh, it's, it's always said that in the, in the last few days uh, coming up to the G20 celebrations and the meetings, there'll be a lot of activities happening. How are you geared up? How is the government of India? How is the Ministry of External Affairs dealing with it? How are you prepared and how are you looking forward to it? You know, it's like 100 meters in a marathon. So last 100 meters matter. So you're both uh, excited and anxious. So that is the situation that uh, we are all geared up. We work very hard. Everyone's put their best foot forward. But the last uh, mile delivery matters. And we are, we are all geared up for that. What is the message from the Prime Minister of this country? Because Narendra Modi is actually overlooking <laughs> is what we are being told, looking over everything. everything minutely. Every, every single thing. Uh, from decorations to gifts to food to, uh, you know, uh, every presentation has gone to him. Decorations and food. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the and gifts. Menu. And the gifts. I mean, that, that's, that's the kind of person you're dealing with. Uh, and, and anyone can get a call in the middle of the night that, no, 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 this needs to change and take it back, redo it. So we've heard there's a lot of focus on millets and a lot of things. Yes, so, so short example, a small example. Uh, so when we were planning the spouses program, in that program it was, you know, uh, people as we all end up being, would talk about fashion, would talk about um, all that uh, they feel women are interested in. Uh, but uh, no, 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 it has to be a substantial engagement. So in substantial engagement, the first half we are taking them to Indian Agricultural Research Institute where we are going to showcase the antique uh, uh, grains of India, which is millets, and uh, how it is leading to sustainability and good health, how it is linked to the earth's health, how it is linked to water conservation, and the top-of-the-line labs which have made India, I mean IARI has made us all uh, when it comes to food security yeah. and we are not only producing uh, food for ourselves which is 1.4 billion Indians but are able to give it to other countries like Afghanistan and several of our neighbors and friends so so that's the strength of India so first engagement is that okay. and second yeah. engagement we have uh, an exhibition which is called Roots to Roots R-O-O-T-S to R-O-U-T-E-S that is the foundational uh, message of our civilization to roots which we have taken to spread the message all across uh, through a 5,000 plus years so of we're showcasing India in a big way in front Absolutely. of all of them. Absolutely. In view of China not coming, experts around the world are saying that it's because of India's growing stature in the world that China or Xi Jinping has chosen to stay back and is sending Li Qiang. How do you look at it? So I would say people are looking at China from a very uh, short-term perspective. I mean, they are looking at maybe 70 years um, or uh, 50 years or that time period. But historically, uh, India has had uh, uh, very many exchanges with China, including Sanskrit was taught and learnt. Uh, martial arts went from here. A uh, whole lot of them were uh, from Sanatan Parampara. Um, uh, uh, Khotan was habited during Ashoka period by Indians. So uh, a long-term perspective always matters to people like us. Uh, Short-term perspective is probably not giving the complete picture. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.